welcome to day one of the Make Light Advent. I am so excited that you are here and I really hope that you are going to be inspired over the next 24 days. Don't worry if you can't take it every day and join in, it really doesn't matter. You can catch up or you can even save them until after Christmas if things get too busy for you. I just want this to be relaxed and fun and for you to find a little moment for yourselves in this crazy busy festive season. So today I am going to start by talking about creating your festive prop box. Now you may have heard me talk about prop boxes before and I think this is a really, really lovely way to start Advent. And if you gather all your lovely pretty props together today or tomorrow, then you'll be really set for taking photos for the rest of Advent. So I have put my props for Christmas in this pretty box. This is my favorite prop box. You might have seen it before. You don't have to have a box like this. You could have a shoe box, you could have a bag, you could have a drawer. Wherever you can find to gather all the things that you want for taking pictures. So I'm going to tell you about some of the things that are in my box and I'm also going to list some of them underneath and where I have sourced them. Some of them are vintage, so they are obviously not so easy to get hold of and some of them are possibly a little bit old now. They might have had them for a couple of years, but I will give you as many suggestions as I can to help you to find things. However, you really don't have to buy anything new because I bet that if you have a look at your decorations and have a look in drawers and around your house, you could find lots of things for your prop box that you already have. So don't think that you have to go and buy lots of new things. You'll be amazed at what you already have. So in my prop box, I have got all sorts of things. I have got lots of ribbons and twines because they are nice for kind of adding a little finishing touch to images. I have got tiny little baubles and I have got big, big baubles and I have got sparkly stars of all sorts of shapes and sizes. I've got some muslin. I have got glitter. I have got these leaves, which I just love. These are not real leaves, but they look very effective. And I got them a few years ago now, I think maybe two, two years ago. And I really, really love them. All lots of sparkle. Sparkle is good if you like that kind of thing. I love sparkle at Christmas. Um, so I do like that. And I've also got feathers, which I'm probably going to put some glitter on. Oh, I'm getting attached to my um, fairy lights here. So fairy lights, obviously. I have um, two or three packs of fairy lights that I just use for my photographs so that I don't have to go and take them off any decorations around the home. So I know that you might have fairy lights up already, or you might be putting them up over the next week or so. If you can, it's useful to have some fairy lights that are just for your images so that you don't have to keep going to find them um, and you just have them there whenever you need them. The great thing about having a prop box like this is I, I have it out. If you can have it out, then that's great. If you can't, then don't worry, but I have mine out so that when I have a little moment, I can just go in and gather some things and create a photograph without having to go around the home and find everything. And I can also get inspired in the evening when there's no light or no natural light. So I can gather things from the prop box, maybe style a scene and then take the photograph the next day when there is light. So it's very, very useful um, to gather your things like this because it just, it saves time, but it also inspires you. And it also means that you can prepare things when it is darker and you can't take the photographs. Because obviously in the winter, in the UK, in the Northern Hemisphere, we really don't have as much light as we do other times of year. Obviously, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere right now watching this, you've got your summer and you've got plenty of lights. But for us, we need to make the most of the light that we have. So other things that I have got here, I've got some leather twine there in gold and I have it in silver as well. And I have some really ooh, pretty scissors. These ones that I only get, well, I say only, I, I tend to only use at Christmas time. They're just a bit more um, fancy and pretty and they go well with my Christmas styling. And I also have the tiniest little cracker. <laughs> so you might have crackers, you might make crackers. You might want to put one in a photograph. So 
Things like that are really good to have in your prop box. I have also got lots of scatter stars. So these little tiny stars that um, are the kind of confetti stars that you might want to put on your table um, at Christmas dinner. You can get them in lots of places and I love them to sprinkle on a background of an image. They do make a bit of a mess, I know, <laughs> but um, I think the mess is worth it at this time of year. I think our home is always covered in glitter and stars. Um, for the month of December. So I just kind of let that go and I go with it. And I also have some little wooden stars with some glitter on and they are just so lovely to give a finishing touch to my Christmas images. So as I said, I have my fairy lights and those ones are for my photographs keep getting tangled and I have also got a couple of backgrounds here so along with my prop box and my preparation for all the things that I want to style with I also get some backgrounds together now these are for flat lays but I also have some boards that I might use um, if I am doing a photograph and propping the board up like that and shooting that way so I'm just going to show you a couple of these examples for my flat lays but I also have boards that I use and have out and ready so I don't have to keep going to find things. So things that are appropriate for my Christmas images I have ready. So this is a really old baking tray. <laughs> in fact, I've just seen on the bottom, <laughs> it's covered in glitter that's kind of got glued on over the years. Um, this does tend to only come out in the winter um, for me. That's just my personal take and my personal photography. And this one has got so much lovely, it might look like horrible um, on its own, but when it's used as a photography background, it has so much lovely texture and colors and it just works so well for a festive flat lay. So I have my old baking tray and I also have some vintage paper here, which has got, oh sorry, it's got some handwriting on and it just, it's all, faded and those browns and it just looks very romantic as a background so I can layer that down and then create my image on top. So I get my backgrounds ready as well so that I'm not searching all the time for things to find. So I hope that that has given you some inspiration for putting a prop box together. Try and create one today or tomorrow and do share your images of your prop boxes or your favorite prop in the Facebook group because it will really help to inspire other people. Have fun and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.